so in today's video we are going to talk about agile crm it's a place where you can sell and market like the fortune 500 i mean it offers you sales enablement plus marketing automation and also customer service you can use it without credit card i mean free for 10 users and you see they are providing three reasons to choose agile crm the first one is all-in-one crm it's automate your sales marketing and service in one platform avoid data leaks and enable consistent messaging and the second reason is affordability make the most of agile modern features and interrogation easy implementation and great support at an affordable price and the third one and the last one next generation cloud-based SaaS service that is mobile ready fast and simple to use so let's start our video and get into it so let's start in this video i am going to showing you step by step process how we can use agile crm when you would enter you would be in here at home page now eager to see contacts here revenue deals call tasks then you would see calendar tasks and your activity so you can simply change your dashboard by going to top right and click here at a dashboard like contact list uh, deals goals revenue graph i can simply click here and add it then again you can add rss feed activities and really optimize your dashboard as much as you want when you come here to the top right you can see recent activities and you can simply add this uh, is like the quick way how you can add contact company deal even task note email ticket call and document i will show you everything how we can do it then on the top left you would see calendar where you are going to see what needs to be done then tasks like overdue today tomorrow later and that's pretty much and then you have like search button you can search for everything when i click here on the menu i can simply click on contacts and you can import the contacts or you can simply click on the top right add a com contact you can also add a tax and add a campaign or the, on the right side you you can see filter so you can actually filter everything let's go to the top right and add a contact now i will add a name brother title company we will add a new one okay email phone and you can also add tags and uh, we got it so here we got our first contact on left side you are going to see details then you can simply add a note note to delete to click a save right then uh, right then you can simply click on events you can have no in brother i can simply add event or i can add the tasks so task name field approval and you can have it as a call email uh, follow up meeting milestone send tweet or other owner priority if it's high normal low uh, and status you have to start in progress and i am going to go like 50 right relates to myself and related deals if you have some deals related you can add them here let's click save right then you are going to see deals here and i can add but there is not associated with any deals and i can simply add a deal here so deal name can be deal lifetime or owner value can be 10000 uh, you can add also products here profitably 30 percent you can add milestone if it's new prospect proposal uh, i am going with the prospect close date let's go with any date deal source can be website referral ads type is the color related to uh, and again tags now i just click save and then you have campaigns here you can add a new campaign and then you have up stats and then like mail here that you can set up and you can easily set up and connect your gmail account and then send mails to a uh, brother or your client and you can simply add the documents uh, here too and then you have tickets tickets are from service that needs to be sold from the tools are like questions from a client right when i'm going to click on companies uh, i can go to stop right and click add a new company and i can go url i would edit i can go continue editing and i can go url tag and email phone website and city as state address and country this is a really similar way how we can do it with a contact that okay i got a company i can add contacts directly to the existing company that i just created so my recommendation would be just create an organization first and then create contacts then you are gonna see deals here so right now as we create our deal i can see right here that this is a deal of a lifetime i can simply archive it i can delete it or i can move it between new prospect proposal or one so i can simply click here on proposal and then again i can add notes to the documents 
related tasks, events, and or products. Then I can see documents here in box. There are la there are like my emails. I can compose. I can add email from email address this one or my own. I will verify the email. I would need to configure my domain keys and I can simply set emails from my agile CRM then I get to see online calendar here I can simply scheduling URL these are like my online appointments that I can have to uh, that I can have so business hours when I work meeting types uh, let's keep it short let's chat 1530 and advanced buffer time this like not really to take surprise appointments buff time is the minimum notice time you need to for your next appointment and calendar where you would see everything right so let's say 30 minute and then i just choose a date and a name email phone number and this is a really great way let's say that you want to set up like when you are available and you can have this like really huge thing not a lot of people not a lot of companies crm got online calendar implemented in their software so this is a huge thing that you can use then you are gonna see activities here you would see all your activities what was happening the next thing are reports and reports you can have automation stat deals like incoming deals uh, i can see that this is my incoming deal that i'm going uh, that i'm going to get maybe the lost revenue by source user reports rep performance comparison reports and you can really choose like what kind of report you want to see and find out average call duration call logs call outcomes and then the last thing are automations and in automation you can simply con uh, contact edit so when is going to be contact edit what is going to be happen uh, right when it's going to contact edit and i can send email from brother stone to uh, anywhere text html cc bcc uh, subject reply to click save then you can wait click open tags sc uh, score url with tweet uh, b testing or you can go also add a task so when there is a new contact you can add a task call the uh, contact category call normal priority click save new days one so now i'm going to choose it like this so when there is going to be a new contact i'm going to add task then i can add contribution or i can add a deal you can really like automation it is as much as you want so this is pretty much it how we use uh, the agile crm you can also switch between sales and marketing and services if you want to but yeah this was like simple work for what you can actually do and how we can use it i know uh, that it wasn't really complex i but i did not want to make it complex i want to make it simpler uh, what you can actually do here to have the basic knowledge about agile crm thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye